Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So back to our Serenity series. So far in the last video, we have seen that uh, how to create a simple page class, page step class, and then how to create a simple test class over here like that. So the login page test class last time we created, which is calling all the steps from the login page steps and all the login page steps method are annotated with at the rate uh, step annotation. And then this class is actually calling all the methods from login page class where all the page classes and locators are available. Today we are going to talk about what is this page object class and uh, we will try to create one more page class and then let's see how exactly we can create one at least one basic end to end test case over here and we will see various methods are coming from page object. This is one of the most important class in a uh, serenity that every page class should extend page object. So today what exactly we will do that after going to login we let's click on this sign in button let's see we will start from here and we will enter the value and then we will click on sign in button and uh, when we log into the application let's see i want to do some search or i want to verify that a login pay or account space title or maybe this particular header or maybe i want to do a search over here so let's see if i write something like this address and uh, let's say I want to select t-shirts from here you click on it and you are getting some results like that right and let's say I want to verify this title that this uh, heading is coming or not so this is the scenario so what we have to do we have to create a separate accounts page let's see I will call this page as accounts page class so what I'm going to do first I have to create by under UI pages I'm going to create another class and my class name is let's see account page class that I'm going to write simple create this create this particular class and in this particular account page class what I'm going to do that I'm going to I'm going to create certain methods but first of all that we have to write extends keyword and then it should extend page object class right like that now in this particular accounts page I'm going to verify let's see Let's verify this logo. This logo is there or not. So right click on it and uh, go to inspect. And this is the ING tag is available where class logo I can take it. So I can simply take by dot class name. I can use it. Now what exactly I'm going to do here that simple create a method that public void. I simply write that is logo exist or not. And I simply write there is a method which is coming from page object various method you can write see should you simply write should be visible method that this logo is visible or not so in the last session I told you you can create one locator sorry you can create one web element with the help of this a dollar xpath or CSS you can pass there are other ways also for example should be visible what so this method says that if you see this method this method says you give me a web element or maybe by locator also so let's take this web element over here how will you create a web element it can take web element and by both so either you write with dollar and whatever that i told you last time that you can pass the css or xpath if you don't want to use a dollar you can directly write it like this as well i simply write with the help of by class which is coming from selenium by dot class name and whatever the class name that we are using logo that also you can write it and that's it should be visible will do the needful this should be visible method is actually coming from page object we are extending this page object class no need to create the object you can directly inherit this particular method should be visible over here and automatically it will apply one until expected condition that is your uh, web driver weight internally it will be applied that is your explicitly weight will be applied and then automatically it will tell you so this is expecting one by locator and then we have another should be visible uh, these two methods are already overloaded this is taking web element and this is taking by so i can use either of them so let's take this one and this method is ready that's it so they provide a lot of lot of wrapper functions on top of selenium you can use n number of functions over here for example let's say i want to do a search over here so let's create one method do search method let's see and in do search I have to pass one parameter let's see that uh, what is your search key so let's see search key is that let's say I'm passing dress over here so this is my search key and when the result will be displayed I want to select this guy 
So this is my search key and this is the product that I want to select. So I'll simply say that, okay, yeah, this is my search key, comma, and select the product name. So I'll pass these two parameters, the product name, starting bracket, ending bracket. And now I have to enter some value over here. So let me just, first of all, inspect this guy. And it's saying that somewhere ID is available, search query top. Now see, this is a text field. If you, there are various things. You can use a dollar also. Now you can use, you can create your own buy dot name and buy dot ID also, you can use that. There is another method that is available, type into method. Type into method says that you give me the web element. See this, this method is saying, give me the web element and the value. So this type into method is again coming from page object class. Type into method is used to enter something or type something in a particular text field. So I simply say that, okay, fine, I want to uh, pass something. So you, it's saying, give me the web element. How will you create a web element? With the help of dollar, you can create a web element. And then whatever uh, the ID is available. So I'll be writing hash ID over here. So I'll be creating one simple CSS selector like that and then pass the value, which value that you want to enter. So I want to enter this search key over here like that. So simple, this method will behave like driver.findElement, buy.id or buy. whatever, and dot send keys. Automatically it will enter over there. If you see this method is again coming from page object and it's actually typing over there. So this type method they have already created internally. Okay, so we don't need to take care about, we don't need to write those things like driver.findElement and all those things. Then let's see, I uh, simple search for dress. The moment I write dress over here, I have to wait for this t-shirt or faded short sleeve t-shirt, something like this. Then I can create another method that is a text to be appear. So I simply write wait for text to appear method. And I want to search for whatever the product name. So this product name I'll be passing. I don't want to do any hard coded value. So wait for text to appear. It means the moment I write dress, might be possible that through this edX component, uh, the the dress will be displayed after, see I'll write it once again. It's coming after a few seconds. Let's see the suggestions are coming after a few seconds. So I'm gonna wait for this particular text over here. So that's why I'm writing wait for text to appear. And then I want to click on it. So simple, there is another method directly available. Click on, click on methods, type into to type the value, click on method to click on it. So earlier, if you see this in our login page, we were writing dot click method also. You can create the web element and you can simply write dot click. Again, create the web element and write dot send keys. You can use this pattern also, or you can use certain methods like that also. You can do that. Now click on, <clears throat> I want to click on a specific element. Which element? That whatever the product name is coming. So let's see, I'll search for dresses once again. And I want to inspect this guy. This one, so this is available with the, this li class is equal to something like this. It means one li, where text is available. So can I create the X path over here? That let's see double slash li where a text is equal to this. So it's giving me one of one element. So I can directly write that okay, li text is equal to this product name. So what I'm gonna do, I simply create a web element over here, dollar. And my web element will be what? Double slash li. And where text is equal to what? equal to whatever the product name that you want to search. So I simple append it over here. So I simple append with single quote like this, plus plus, like that. Okay, so this will become my X bar, li text is equal to this. So whatever the product name that you are searching, it will append with, uh, with this particular text and then X bar will be created over here like that. So it will click on it. And when you click on it, let's see, <clears throat> after that, let's click on it. After that, whatever the, this, <clears throat> I want to verify that search is successful or not. So I want to uh, check this a uh, faded short sleeve, something like this, which is written with H1. So I can create one H1 tag with, and I'll capture the text over here. So what I'm gonna do, I simply write, you return with a dollar, or see, there is one more method I can tell you, you can create an element with the help of find also. So find method is also available and you simple pass the by locator. So I can simple write by dot tag name. The tag name is what H1 over here like that. And you simple write dot get text method. It will return like that. So if it's returning the text instead of void, 
I have to write string. As simple as that. So there are C various things we have seen. We have seen this pattern also with dollar. We have seen methods like type into, wait for text to be appear, click on, find method. Certain methods are already provided by Serenity coming from page object. So this class is very, very important. If you go there to the page object, you will see various methods are available. Uh, see, wait utilities. So these are the constructors, set driver. Uh, and uh, fluent weight is available get driver element timeout implicitly weight mechanism they have written upload method upload data <clears throat> so you can see get page url set page urls a lot of various methods they have given see this is a get driver method which is thread safe driver that also you can do that if you really want to call this method it will give you the current driver instance with the thread locals it will give you the thread local copy of this so if you really want to use it like that for example, let's say I want to call get driver method and then write start writing a selenium method like this driver dot find element. So get driver method will give you actually a web driver reference, a web driver instance that is thread local instance. It will help you in parallel execution if you really want to do that. So that also you can do that. So let's see this is a method is ready now. And then the next step is we have to create our steps over here. So right click on the uh, steps package and uh, go to java class and i simply write account page uh, steps over here and now in my steps what i'm going to do in my steps i have to create my steps over here so first what i need to maintain first i'll be maintaining one private variable let's see whatever the account page that we have created this account page reference i'll be creating and then i'll be writing my at the rate uh, step and then i'll be creating my step methods annotated with at the rate step if you remember same thing we did for login page steps also right and then i'll start calling my method so let's see my first method i'm going to write public void let's see a very date app logo something like this i have written and i simply write account page dot is logo exist method or not so this method is coming from where that we have already written then let's create another method for the search again i'll be writing at the rate step and I'll create public void. Let's see, search the product. This is the method that we have written. And from here, I'll be passing again two things, search key, comma, search product name. Okay. And then I'll be calling that method account page dot do search method and pass the same search key, comma, product name. And this search key and product name we will be calling from our test method. And this method also will return, this step will also return whatever the header that we are getting, and this will return a string, right? Because this do search method is also giving you a string over here, right? Returning you a string. So my steps are ready. Once the steps are ready, I'll be creating my test class. So I'll go into my test package and create a Java class. And I simply create, let's see, account page test.java so let's create that and in account page test i'll be creating my test over here with the help of simple j unit methods so first of all that uh, this class should be as i told you that login page test if we return it should be run with serenity runner so i quickly write at the rate run with serenity runner on top of the class you can write it just above the class you can write it and then I'll be creating number of at the rate steps annotation for my steps. So I simply write, first of all, let's see my login page steps reference I'll be creating, login page steps like that. So what you have to do, we have to import this. So let me just import login page steps from here. Sometimes it does not import automatically. So I simply write like that. And you remove this from here. Okay, so steps dot login page steps and uh, i'll be creating a uh, one more at the red steps for accounts page steps so i simply write that is my accounts page uh, steps accounts page steps and let me import this also manually import this okay remove this steps over here <clears throat> so for every um, for every uh, uh, page steps, guys, we have to 
annotate with at the rate steps so that it will capture each and every step in the report so the moment you are handling any you, the moment you are using any action or any uh, method that you are calling with this particular uh, reference it will be captured and then it will be returned in the html report right now think about it that whenever we have to land on this particular a search page on the home page like that on the accounts page so what i'm going to do let me just sign out once again so let's see <clears throat> we will start from here we will start from here we will enter the value and then click on sign in so to reach at the accounts page we have to enter the username password we have to log in so how will i do that so let's see i want to write two test cases one test is for i simply write let's see at the rate test annotation one test i'm going to write public void that is for the logo test so i simply write account page logo test and my second method i'll be writing at the rate test annotation and i simply say that public void uh, let's see search test i'm going to search it so these are the two test cases so what is a precondition so the precondition is that for executing these two test cases it should be user should be logged in so that will become a setup method for me so i'll be creating my own a before method over here which is coming from j unit and i simply write public void this is my setup method for example and then how will you set up so login page uh, steps i'll be start calling my login page steps method so dot is on login page you remember this method we created last time is on login page which will call dot open method and dot open method which will call the url which is available in your serenity dot properties over there that we have already created if you remember under resources we have a, sorry here serenity dot properties available over here the base url i have already mentioned so it will open method will take this base url from the properties file and then i'll go back to my accounts page steps once again sorry account page test once again so first you have to log in and after log i mean first you have to be on login page after that i'll be using the same steps to log in so there is a method if you remember login as user method also we have created a login as user method which will call this do login method and it will enter the value like this although right now this is hard coded later on you can pass the string username and string password from here and you can read the properties from you can create your own custom properties also so that part i'll show you later so let it be hard coded right now that's okay then i'll go to my account page test so this is a precondition is ready so after that what should i do i have to start calling my uh, steps under these step methods so which step i have to use account page steps object i will be using and dot i simply write this method validate app logo method that logo is available or not and validate app logo method is a step which is calling is logo exist from the accounts page class so the rule will be same first you have to create page class then steps class and then the steps class should be called from the test class that is what exactly we are doing it so account page test and uh, validate app logo that we have created and let's say i'm going to call the search test also so i simply write account page steps over here dot and let's see this is a method i'm going to write search product now i have to pass the product uh, key so the product uh, search key that is the address i'll be passing comma and uh, whatever the next value the next value i'll be passing from here that is a product name so let's see i'm passing where this one t-shirt faded something like this so let me inspect and capture the exact text from here and uh, let's see this is the key that i'm passing okay and put a semicolon so what will happen search product it will search it will give the search key address and the t-shirt product name over here will be given to the do search method and then it will enter the address it will wait for the t-shirt and then it will click on that particular product and then whatever the header text is coming it will capture that and it will return right it will capture it will click on it and then it will return this value so whatever the value is coming this particular value it will be returned back to the accounts page test method over here and then i'll be storing in a result let's say this is my um i would say result text over here like that and then in the next line i'll be asserting if you really want to assert dot assert let's say i'm writing assert dot assert true 
and I simply write result do what if result is equal to this is the expected result that I'm expecting if it is equal to this then test is pass right same thing if you really want to write an assertion validate app logo is logo exist or not and it's saying should be visible should be visible method is actually doing nothing it's simple not returning anything it's a void so that's why like it will be asserted automatically inside the page class only so that is okay although it's a violation of the page object model that we are writing actually it's internally asserting but that's okay just to understand this particular scenario we can do that otherwise you can use some other method also you can write is displayed method and then return boolean from here that also you can do that but i just wanted to show you guys that should be visible method also you can call it then go back to your account page test and this method is ready now okay let me uh, remove these white spaces and then save it now let's execute all the test classes directly so what should i do i'll go to my terminal and uh, simple write gradle test so let's write gradle test over here and let's see our test cases are running or not okay so it's saying somewhere a null pointer i know let me just terminate that see for accounts page it's saying failed it's saying null pointer exception why because guys what you have to do in your accounts page test if you see this and if you see our login page test uh see this is my login page test you remember that we have to write this at the manage web driver browser we have to man okay we have to write it same thing over here in account page test also so let me write it let's see after steps then only the web driver will be managed in this particular test as well now let's run it again let me clear the console and write gradle test once again let's see now it is launching the browser so it should execute accounts page test as well as it should execute login page test as well okay so let it execute and then we will see the report is coming with all the proper steps or not see it's searching for address now and clicking on this and faded short sleeve should be returned and test should be passed and then it's checking some other test okay going to log in and maybe it will check the logo now okay now everything is fine you can see all the test cases were executed properly now let's see the report so what i'm going to do report will be generated under target folder and you simple scroll down and uh, you have to find this index.html right click on it and open in the browser any browser let's see open with firefox so let's see the report is coming or not so let me just close that see the report see this is the report all 100 percent test cases got passed and you go to your test results you can see account page logo test got passed search test from these two uh, from account page test and login page test also got passed so let's see with login test obviously it is working taking a screenshot perfect again you simple go back and uh, let's see search test see the search test over here it's saying is on login page login as user and the search product with this it is giving you the product name also that you search with the address the parameter name and the second product key over here product name key and product name showing over here and this is what you are getting as a result see the exact same result we are getting over here so it will take a screenshot for each and every step and these are your step methods is on login page login as user like that if you see this if you go to your uh, accounts page steps it will be annotated over here that uh, is on login page login as user and search product so we are calling this particular method search product and from the login page steps it will call these three is on login page login is user user should be like that is on login page login as user and then search product again you go back and check for the logo for logo also it's absolutely working fine login login as user and validate the app logo perfect you can see the validate the app logo is coming like that so this is how you can simple 
uh, create multiple pages and then keep executing your test cases. Now, if you go back to this page class once again, so there are various methods as I told you, please try. I won't be able to cover each and every method of the page object, but uh, there are various methods are available. It's provided by Serenity. You can see it's coming from Serenity. This is something really good uh, utility that uh, they have created. You don't need to create the object to this class, simple extend it and then start using it. So these are the different constructors, set driver, as I told you, get wait for timeout. You can uh, do that. There are various various methods are available guys. In fact, get title method they have given and um, if you see the wait for wait for present for wait for absence wait for text to be appear wait for title to be appear so you don't need to write your own explicitly wait over here automatically they have given this expected condition and on the basis of that it will give you the title this is something really really good same thing wait for text appear so internally they have handled all the explicitly wait here wait on page wait for title to disappear see almost everything they have given wait for text to disappear and then element does not contain wait for text to be disappear so all the appearance and disappearance method they have given and uh, wait for any text to be appear on the page that also they have given all text to appear you can pass the complete string characters over here and then you can check uh, the result for different text uh, wait a bit okay let's see what exactly they are using the get clock pause for number of milliseconds this is just like a you know you can pass the number of one 1000 or 2000 milliseconds it will wait for that particular amount of time and see should contain text that is also so some really really good method and the list is very long guys you can try a number of number of assertions based methods see type into method it will clear a field and enter a value into it amazingly good right you don't need to write dot clear and then dot send keys this method will do it automatically type into it clear and then do it Okay, if you really want to uh, deep dive into it, so first it will create the element on the basis of that and it will do a type over here. And the type method is actually coming from this. There is a class, the class name is this one, web element facade class, which is already extending web element, which is coming from. So this is the interface, not the class, sorry, which is extending this particular web element interface, which is coming from Selenium. So that's why internally they have created these methods. And all the rules methods they have defined over here like that so this is really really good and if you go to the page object class on top of that <clears throat> remember this this is coming from serenity okay and internally they are using all the methods which are coming from implementation coming from web element facade over here like that okay so you can see the implementation this variable element for Sassard implementation in various other classes as well. But let's not deep dive into it because it's their internal code that you can check it later. See type and tab, select, deselect from the drop down, uh, select by visible text, select by value, select by index, everything they have given over here is. So start using it, it's amazingly good. And uh, see upload, upload data. Okay. See wait for Angular request for Angular application also they have given move to coming from the actions classes also they have given that's why they are using with action method and uh, notify screen change various methods they have given get alert also they have given for the pop-ups and it will automatically switch to that particular alert so you don't need to write driver dot switch to dot alert you can simply call this method it will give you the reference of the alert and internally it will switch over there that also we can do that maybe i can prepare one more video on some important methods in the next video okay guys page is loaded or not radio button group a lot of things they have given jquery integration is activated driver is jquery compatible like like crazy man like it's really really good they have given okay guys so that's all for for this particular video please try and let me know if you are facing any issue please start using intellij and uh, with gradle you will be learning a lot of lot of good things I'll do one thing. I'll prepare one more video on Eclipse with Maven dependencies also. So if, if you are uh, really want to use Maven with the uh, Serenity, that also easily you can do that. Okay, I'll prepare one definitely one prepare one video on that. Till then, take care. Thank you so much. Please subscribe to the channel. Let me know if you have any issues. And uh, God bless you all.